Lesson 2.3.5 Solving Systems of Linear Equations and in Inequalities In this video, we will graph solution sets and determine points that satisfy the inequalities of the in the system. Graph the solution set of each system of linear inequalities. Label all points of intersection of the boundary lines. Then determine a point that satisfies all of the linear inequalities in the system. All right, so this is very similar to what we were doing in 2.3.4. Okay, we just have more than two equations that we'll be working with now. So my first equation I'm going to use red. My second equation, I'm going to use green. My third equation, I'm going to use blue. So we have to find some information. So in that first equation, first of all, it's solid because it has an equal to in the inequality. And then the second thing we need to figure out is if we plug in 0, 0, is it true? 0 is greater than or equal to negative 3. That's true. So we will shade towards 0, 0, which will be right here on the graph. And then we also need to figure out how to graph this. Well, its y-intercept is negative 3. There is no x, so it doesn't have a slope. So what that means is we start at negative 3, and we're going to draw a horizontal line through it. And again, remember, our line is solid. So we draw this solid horizontal line right through the y-intercept at negative 3. And then we also need to fit right the shading, and the shading said true. So that means that we shade towards zero, zero. And again, remember, I tell you guys to do the little hairs off the line, so that way you know which direction without making the graph look so complicated. Now we're gonna work with the second equation, the three X minus two Y is greater than or equal to six. Now this equation is in standard form. Um, so first again we're gonna see that this is solid and again it's because it's equal to we're also gonna check 0 0 so we're gonna check 3 times 0 minus 2 times 0 is greater than or equal to 6 well 3 times 0 is 0 2 times 0 is 0 so we get zero is greater than or equal to six, which is false. So this time for this line, we will shade the side that does not have zero, zero in it. The other thing we need to figure out is how to graph it. And because it's in standard form, we're gonna start by saying three X equals six and solve for X. So X equals, so our x-intercept is 2 comma 0 and then we're going to take the negative 2y equals 6 divide by negative 2 and find that y equals negative 3 so our y-intercept is at 0 comma negative 3 and so we're going to plot those two points on the x and y axis, so again our x-intercept was at 2, 0, so that's here. Our y-intercept is at 0, negative 3, so that's here. And then we said that the line is solid, so we're going to draw a solid line through those two points. Okay, so there's my line. 
and again we said that this one is false so we are shading the side opposite zero zero so zero zero is above this line so we will be shading below it now we still have one more line to graph so let's do that next so our next line our next equation we're working with is the y is less than negative x plus 2. So this one is dashed because unlike the other two it doesn't have the line underneath our inequality and then if we plug in 0 0 we get 0 is less than negative 0 plus 2 there's no really saying such thing as negative 0 so we get 0 is less than 2 which is true so this one will be shading towards 0 0 and then this one is in slope intercept form which means that the plus 2 is on the y-axis oh crud I'll fix that in a minute and then the negative 1 means that we have negative 1 over 1. So we're going to go down 1 and to the right 1. And we can continue that pattern. And again, this line is dashed. So we'll draw a dashed line here. So again, remember that this is a dashed line. So it looks something like this. And we said that 0, 0 is true. So we're going to shade towards 0, 0. So in this case, that means we're shading below this line. Because that's where 0, 0 is. And then just a minute ago, you heard me say, uh-oh. And that's because when I graphed this here, I graphed it at positive 3. So really, it needs to be down here at negative 3. And all these hash marks should be above the line because it was shading towards zero, zero. And I understand that means you're going to have to do some erasing on your paper if you're following along. Um, so do make sure you go back and correct that. Now remember that we are looking for the area that has shading from all three lines. And in this case, that's this triangle right here. And so the solution to these systems here is this triangle that is created by the graphs and the solid lines not the dashed lines so anything on the solid lines counts as part of it um, nothing on the dashed line counts as part of it and then the second part of this says then determine a point that satisfies all of the linear inequalities in the system so now all we have to do is find a point in the middle of all this shading um, so if I go over to the right one, two, and maybe go down one, two negative one is a solution. Anything that's in that shaded area works. So my recommendation when you're doing this stuff is to um, shade lightly so you can see inside of what, you know inside the shaded area when you go to mark your answers. And with that, that's our first example. And I'm going to ask you to do the same thing for problem number two. Um, problem number two has an extra line, but it's the same idea. Um, the other thing that problem number two has is this equation written in the wrong order. So you can rewrite it so that y is first. Just remember that the mouth was opening towards y. So when we rewrite it, the mouth is still opening towards the y. Okay, and so that's how you would write that equation out. So go ahead and try number two now on your own.
All right. So again, there was a lot of work here. Um, first thing we had is a solid line with the y is less than or equal to 3. We do a solid line at 3. It's horizontal. And when we check it out, it's true for 0, 0. So we shade below it. Um, that's the red line. The green line was y is greater than or equal to negative 5. So it's a horizontal line at negative 5. So it's the green one. And it was true as well. So we shaded above that one. The next line was the 2y, um, or y e is greater than negative 2x plus 1. Um, that one came out to be false for shading. It's dashed because it's not equal to. And we start at the y-intercept of 1, and we go down 2 and over 1. And it's the blue line on the graph. Um, and we shaded away from 0, 0 because it was false. Although, by the looks of it, I shaded towards 0, 0. <laughs> so we should shade away from 0, 0. So I'm going to shade on the other side of this. And so then the area that's shaded for all of it would be this region down here, over here, that's shaded for everything. All right, and then we had one more line. It's the black line. It's dashed because, again, its inequality is not a line below it. Um, doesn't have an equal to. Um, the other thing is that it starts at negative 3, and it goes also goes down 2 and over 1. So the blue line and the green line are parallel. Um, and then it is true with 0, 0, so we shaded towards 0, 0 on this one. And that's how we get that shaded pink area that's over there. And then you just pick a point in the shaded area, and that is a solution that would work for this. So I'm going to pick the point 2, 0, just to make it easy for myself. Okay, you could put 4, 0, you could put 2, negative 1, you could put 2, 2, anything that's in the shaded area. And with that, that is how we graph the systems of graph solution sets of systems of linear inequalities. Ooh. So as I said, ooh, to myself, I was realizing it says label all the points of intersection on the boundary lines. So I didn't do that in the first part of the video. So we'll go back here first and we'll label those. So we have an intersection here at, what is this, negative 3, or 0, comma, negative 3, because we went down 3. We have one here at positive 6, comma, 3. And then we have a tough one right here at 2 and a half and a half. So this is 2.5 comma 0 0.5 okay and so those are the the intersections on the boundary line that's where the lines intersect each other so we're going to go back to the second problem the one you worked on and we're going to do the same thing so we have an intersection here where the blue line and the red line intersect and that is at negative 1 comma 3 Um, we have another intersection point down here where the blue line and the green line intersect. And that's going to be at 1, 2, 3, 3, comma, negative 5. We don't care about any other intersections because they are not on the boundary on the shaded region. Okay, They're not on the part that connects, touches the shaded region. And so that is now how you graph solution uh, sets of systems of linear inequalities and label the points of intersection on the boundary lines and then pick a point that satisfies all this, the inequalities in the system.